Hi again. <laughs> I take the glasses off. I suck a little bit of mascara on and a little bit of an eyebrow. Have you noticed? Yes. Attention to detail. Ask me a question. Let's have to talk about something. Come on. I mean, Jesus, you must all be as bored as I am. I'm looking down. I don't understand view. Oh, you people can join? Oh, I don't know. I might get too complicated. I can talk to you this way. I don't want anyone to feel left out. <laughs> or anyone to feel too special. That's very Gemini of me. You know, we're always in two minds about everything. Ask me a question. Not the same thing over and over, though. Hello again. Yes, go, teeth, bays. What are you talking about? Gory, gorge, go, who's that? Marilyn. They're all high. I hate them all. What's my favourite brand of makeup? Oh, honey. What you like performing seal? Blow a kiss. Juggle. Okay. <laughs> Punch yourself. <laughs> so, babe, that Madonna video, she is. What is she doing? Girl. No. No, not allowed. It's not allowed, iconic lady. Stop it now. The internet is a very dangerous thing. It says he's saying that on a live on thingy. I don't care anyway. Whatever. No one buys records anymore anyway. <laughs> so yeah, there's no real need to be sort of too politically correct. <laughs> you know, in the old days, we'd be like, oh, better not be rude. You can't sit down by the record. Well, they don't now anyway. So I'm just being honest. They don't. Remember Star, his magazine. Mm. What's awful? Oh, I'm not one of these, like, I'm not one of these. Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> Honey, I've been for a lot, you know. I've, I've worn the T-shirt. I've been that woman. I've worn those battle scars publicly. So, you know, um, I can cope with being on my own. I like my own company. I, f I find myself extremely interesting. Alone in the room? I'm alone in the room, but don't come over. <laughs> There's a lyric. I'm alone in the room, but don't come over. Damn, you here too? What does that mean? Oh, I'm not allowed to be on the internet. Like, sometimes going out in public, people look at you like, why are you on the subway? Or why are you on a bus? Or when someone clocks you and they're like, oh. And people will say things, they used to say things like, oh, are you down on your luck? You know, and I'll be like, no, I'm just trying to get to King's Cross, you know. It's the quickest route. <laughs> See, I like that kind of duality of one minute you're sort of doing like a mad show somewhere, like big, mad, insane show. And the next day you're on the 46 bus going to, going to Waitrose. Waitrose. I think I might put my glasses back on. I feel like it's just too much for this time of day. There you go. Now I feel better. With, um... No. I am, my own, I am my own tribute act. I'm a tribute to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I suppose at the moment, the thing I'm excited about is... Um, it's so fast, I can't read these things. Oh. Are we to Montreux? Well, I don't know where anyone's going. Will anyone ever tour? Nope, I didn't get your letter, darling. It's too small. Anyway, so yeah, what am I listening to? Well, a lot of my own stuff, because I'm doing a lot of recording, I'm writing. I'm recording stuff with other people. I've just done a track with Vendulka. I'm working on another thing with me and Hosea. We'll see. Um, he's incredible. His voice is so beautiful. Yeah, you kind of meet great singers on The Voice, and you kind of just, I don't know, Stuff happens, it doesn't happen. I like nothing making sense. But I mean, I'm sort of doing that, you know, doing lots of different types of styles of music at the moment, which might confuse people. Um, but, you know, you'll get over it. Every time I bought a Bowie album, I'd be like, what's he done now? Oh, my God, I don't know what's going on. Oh. So anyone Russian, do you know what the term... Am I saying this right? Tini muidurug. <laughs> Tell me what that says. Hi. Did I, what did I just say? I put it in the song. You know, because obviously, when is the world tour? When is anyone ever going to do anything? 
But, you know, it's really just, you know, I'd love to, you know, usually I've got an answer for every question. <laughs> but that one I don't, um, which is really funny because, you know, what, I sometimes, what happens with me when I write, let me tell you something interesting if you care, is when I write, like, obviously I, I'm the Bernie Taupin, so I do the melody, I do the words, I do the story. That's my, if you watch Rocket Man, I'm, the, I'm Bernie Taupin. And I would have kissed Elton though, so that's the difference. Um, and I, um, that's what I do. So, you know, I really enjoy doing that. And I do it a lot. I'd work with a lot of people. But, you know, getting stuff heard nowadays is increasingly more and more difficult because so many people are making music and the relationship people have with music is completely, completely different now. So, um, about a story about me. Well, I'm sort of doing that now, really. I'll just talk about myself for the next three hours and see how many followers I get. I want this to be like Messiah. Uh, oh, you have to go to work. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope you're keeping it safe. Nam yo renge kyo, nam yo renge kyo, nam yo renge kyo. Maybe I'll do an on online chanting session. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. I've got my bits with me. Yeah. Back to Ireland. Not enough, actually. I don't go to Ireland enough, but I um, I do feel very Irish. You know, having a name like Odell. And, you know, and all that. So, yeah. I, and I grew up in a very Irish family. So I feel like it's a real big part of my... It's part of me. It's part of who I am. Oh, yes. They could own that. I mean, I suppose, you know, some people would say I'm a plastic paddy, right? But, you know, my mum's Irish. My mum was born in Dublin. My dad's Irish. I don't know if he was born in Ireland or not. But anyway, so if you were Jewish and your mum is Jewish, you're Jewish. So if you're Irish and your mum's Irish, you're Irish. I know that's not the rules, but that's the way I've put it in my head to make it work for me. Ciao, ciao. Love is a, love is love, please. Oh, no, listen, I'll go back. Let's move forward with some new music. Oh, I'm going to play this one. This is good. This is, uh, I'm, I'll put a little clip up. This is track. It's very different for me. Let me see if I can find it. M4. Mix for this is um written by oh this is okay actually this is not what I was going to play but this is like a sort of this is very sexy this is cool <laughs> what would you call unreasonable I played it the other day I think that Charte I'm not ashamed to say poor girl. Better than a slight dick The French resistance in my bed You're lying to me now I can see it in your eyes Your lying eyes Your lying bloodshot eyes In your mind, mind a detail how I feel In my heart is everything Come on, give me everything what would you call unreasonable? What would be problematic? I'd give you my lifestyle, baby Even if I never had it So that's a bit more, yeah, sh quite sade actually Which is another reference point for me Sade, Roxy Music, That Bag Comfy, with a bit of a sort of attitude Love that. Um, what was it name? Sometimes he puts capitals and sometimes he doesn't. Name. Okay, this is good. This is very... And I'm doing a video for this one at the moment as well. I'm putting this out very soon as well. And I do mention Madonna in it at the end. It's kind of about the whole New York thing. London. London. Choose a city. Paris. Madagascar. New York. New York. LA. Berlin. Berlin. You in a 
bar in Brixton In a blue silk shirt and a voodoo pendant Smoking with an air of independence You're so cool I want to be you That girl, you know she's got some attitude Tell me who you think you are She walks around like she owns a place But never leaves a tip It has definitely got to be my Madonna vibe, isn't it? I hope you get what you deserve And I hope I get it too Okay, I no, you see, people probably wouldn't think. What is it called though? <laughs> it's called Oh, what is it called? Because then sometimes the name of the song doesn't relate to what the file is. Oh, El Sim I'll say it, simple complications. This is so special, boys. <laughs> Meets Liza Minnelli. Tony. I don't think this is the mix, though. You can definitely hear Liza. Is there nothing I can get you? Is there nothing I can give you? See, coffee is something strong. Is there nothing I can say? To ease the pain It's not helpful, I know But you brought this all on yourself Flying by the seat of your pants Thinking of no one else All that squandered well Now sequins and scale Time to tie with your bell Oh, give us the shade of your back Give me a kiss Give me a dollar Give me a kiss Give me a dollar One other funny little tip there. I mean, it's not coming out, so if you're listening, Storms, you don't get your knickers in a twist. <laughs> Although I know that your mum is a massive fan of Karma Comedian because you played it on Radio 1. That's one of the reasons why I've always had massive respect for you because Radio 1 hate playing people from my generation. So the fact that you forced Grimmy to play Karma Comedian was the most genius thing. I, ca I can't even tell you how happy it made me at the time. But anyway, so um, yeah, I work with this guy called Benny D and I actually have written a song over something that Stormzy rapped on years ago when he was first starting out. It will never get used, but, you know, it's still quite fun to play to people. So I've written a song around, and it doesn't even match what he's talking about, so it couldn't, it wouldn't work anyway. It's like, should I play it? <laughs> What's it called? What's it called? Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. I might have to, um, I might have to ask Benny, because Benny worked with Stormzy years ago. Anyway, it's really good. The romantic notion of a revolution Not the bloody truth No one wants the bloody truth There you go again Avoiding confrontation Punching like Ali Sleeping all day Yeah It goes like that <laughs> <laughs> I promised myself I wasn't going to do that, but there you go. I can't help it. It just happened. I do apologise. This, where is this? The lion. Oh. Thomas Smith. Oh. Okay, I know that is. Anyways, so I've been writing lots of stuff. Hold on. Oh, this is good. This is really, this is a, this is not very me, this track, but I like it. I hope this is the right version. So I've been playing it on my phone. 
Frantic. Is it this one? It's very Steve Harley and Cockney Revel. That is the, I want him to sing on it as well. I'll, there's a lot of people I really want to work with, and Steve Harley is one of them. And I wrote this absolutely thinking of him. I think they're singing on this. <laughs> I think I might record, I might record, I have actually recorded a version, but I don't know where that version is. But yeah, I just want to be as anarchic as possible because for, actually, it's an interesting, because I've been having lots of arguments with PK over the last few months anyway about releasing music, waiting for this to happen, waiting for that to happen. And then suddenly we're in a situation where we're all like, no one knows what's going on. It's really interesting. I kind of feel like I instinctively just knew that... I've known for a long time that things are different. I don't mean with what's going on with this virus, but just in terms of our industry. I mean, one of the reasons why I started DJing was because, you know, stations like Radio Woman and other stations stopped playing new music that I was making and only played stuff that had been successful. And... You know, it, there is a real ageism thing in, in music. It, it never gets talked about. It's funny, isn't it, that, you know, you can be a radio DJ on the radio for, till you're in your 60s or 70s, but if you're a musician, it, these days it can be literally, if you're 25, they won't play you. And I actually, you know, having grown up in the 70s, you know, which was a decade that gave you everything. It gave you glam rock, punk rock, reggae music, ska, it gave you electro, it gave you disco, it gave you Michael Jackson, it gave you the sex, it gave you everything. And then it was also prog that was sort of hung over from the 60s and the early 70s. And, you know, I think it's good to have things that don't sit well together. I think it's, you know, I think that we should have more international music on the radio. Why isn't someone like Rosalia, for example, played on English radio? Why? Or British radio, whatever you want to call it. And I think that we don't hear enough stuff and we're quite capable of listening to a song in another language, not understanding a word of it, because that's what everybody else does. They listen to songs, they don't necessarily understand them, but they 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 sort of pick up on the well, I was gonna say honesty, but a lot of music I think is really about repetition. I and mean, a lot of people try to mythologize what we do as um musicians. I'm just gonna rant and you can either join in. Um, is my crowd getting bigger or smaller? This is like Speaker's Corner <laughs> for Insomniacs. What was I talking about? I was talking about the fact that, yeah, the ageism in, 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 in music, you know, like, unless you kind of, well, I suppose it's more difficult. If, you, if you're like me and you've fallen off the ladder a few times, <laughs> slipped off the ladder a few times, and that sort of, like, obviously makes it harder. But I think... You know, this idea that, you know, like, well, a lot of things annoy me, obviously. I'm, I'm a Gemini, but the idea that, you know, oh, you can't have an opinion about that because, you know, you're, um, you're, you're too old or you're from, and people talk to me like I'm from, people say, oh, you're from the 80s. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm from the 60s. 61, bitches. And I was like, I was never from the 80s. So, yeah, just, you know, that was when things took off. But actually, what I did, if you, you know, that's one of the reasons why I'm sort of having fun doing all this more electro stuff, because, you know, it's, um, it, I didn't get a chance to do it back in the day, because what I, want, I, I was really into it. I was a massive Fad Gadget fan, loved early um, Soft Cell, you know, loved all that stuff. A little bit, was a little bit jealous of Mark at first, because obviously he wore makeup, and I was like, oh, it's another man in makeup, how dare, how dare he? And I remember this one time, actually, John Moss winded me up, sort of saying he thought he was cute when he was on Top of the Pops, singing Tainted Love, and I was very, like, you know, 
back in those days, I was a very jealous queen. So you couldn't say things like that around me without me getting very, very, like, <laughs> tight-lipped, to say the very least. So I wrote, anyway, um, yeah, I really feel like I should have my own, you know, like, channel where I just talk, Julie Birchall, what's that one? <laughs> Julie Birchall. <laughs> this is so good now. Oh, no, that was really good. That was really loud, wasn't it? And that's good. But I'm not playing it to you. You didn't ask me to anyway. Tear, te oh, tears. Yes, well, you know, the thing is, Mark, who's Mark? Which Mark? M-A-R-C. Who's a lovely guy? Who are we talking about? Which Mark? And if you're getting up in my personal business, well, I won't be answering any of those type of questions. Thank you. You're, I am hilarious, of course. I mean, much more interesting than most people. <laughs> oh, I probably will at some point go so crazy. Listen to me. You... Oh, good. Well, you know what? It's like cooking recipes. Well, I'm in a, an apartment. I'm in an apartment. I've rented an apartment for a few, few weeks. It, it, you know, listen, I, like everybody else, I heard the news this morning that it's going to be 12 weeks of isolation. So, you know, I'm hoping that obviously I've got art stuff to do so I could do that, you know, um, read, <laughs> watch some really good movies, watch some really bad movies, bit of daytime TV you know, and just, you know, try and, try and be part of the sort of spirit of, don't give, don't, time don't give you time, oh, well, you quote me own lyrics, very original, no one's ever done that before, love your updated, <laughs> please stop it. Anyway, right, well, I'm off now, I don't know what I'm going to do, I might watch some TV, I might try and do some exercise, I might chant, I might write some more songs. Um... End. <laughs> uh.